in today's video we are going to be continuing with the Fripp story. Let's continue. So last time we convinced we convinced Uterus to come with us to help Fripp. So let's continue. <sighs> come in. Let's head back to the secret stone circle. I can't wait to see Avalon's face with his reaction to Uterus joining us. Yeah, he might combust. <laughs> And we're in. Time and space merge. Everything is calm, but always in motion. Okay. Oh boy, Avalon, I can't wait to see this. <laughs> it's gonna be good. An unwelcome Pandorian troublemaker in this sacred place, words do not even begin to express my horror. So this is Yidoris. I've been itching to meet this impish showman ever since I returned from exile, a Pandorian living amongst humans. Amazing indeed. There is something familiar about you. Clown, clownish veer, veneer is new, but those eyes, I've seen them before. We've met, haven't we, on the other side? Hmm. And whose idea was bringing this creature into my domain? Don't look at me, I didn't want him either. <laughs> Vem's Etheria I formed while journeying through Pandora. Through tangling aspects of magic, it's impossible to navigate beyond the limits of existence. The connection of three power holders, this means they act as a beacon and might bright enough to see through the infinite folds of space and time. In simpler terms, the the three of us can help respect the human... Okay. Then the power of the five-leaf clover can compel him back his, his body. But wait, who are the three people holding these powers? Yours, for one, but who else? That would be... That would be Yidoris, me, and Lucy. Has anyone asked Lucy how they feel about this? Um, I'm not sure if this will work. <laughs> Anything to say, Fripp? You're so thoughtful, Lucy. Fripp would be proud of you. Wait, what about Anne? Who got your reins all tangled up? Has anyone noticed the fire leaf clover is missing and Anne is gone? This is bad news. Come close, dearies. I have to tell you a fairy tale. Um, Mrs. H, read the room. This isn't the time for fairy tales. Also, we're not five years old. This is a story you'll want to hear. It comes from a lost book of legends. Forbidden stacks of archives of Fort Marina. The abandoned Fort Marina, but no more of these been there since Mrs. Sippy Jones' time. i do anything to get a hold of books in there. Nobody's been in there, and they know of it. I did well go undetected. Now there is one book I found. It might just have the answers we're looking for. No, Tell us. I can't bear the anticipation. Same. <laughs> to bring balance back to and save the two worlds from destruction, first they had to find Pandora's hope. <laughs> but of course, that's just the story. The Druids have their version of events. We witches have ours, and the Pandorians have another. You should all decide yourself what this really means. This is Petrosius. No wonder the book was forbidden. It's full of lies. We all agree the Keeper of Aideen's vision of events is the true story, no? We, we have stories in this box world, too. You might right call it a fairy tale. It's interesting to hear another perspective. It's such a long, t so long ago. Who knows what really happened? This changes everything. If Fripp really came to Jorvik with Pandora's hope, reuniting it, reuniting him with it could restore him to full health. But where do we f even find such a thing? Awesome. Then I say Nick. <laughs> yes, Nick Stoneground has explored Jorvik. Yeah. You're really good for murder aside. <laughs> Wait, I skipped what she said. 
Is that a part of saving a friend? No, no, no. A anyway, Lucy, we should come. Lucy said we should come to you, but I'm honestly not sure why. You could help us. Perhaps the refrigerator has something to do with it. I'm sorry, your what? My fridge. This little fella has been acting all jumpy all day. A magic fridge? Refrigerator? This is what Evergrey said. I swear I haven't opened the fridge to take anything out since... Whoa, easy there, fridge. Well, bye-bye, Mr. Fridge. The fridge gave you exactly what you needed? Just like, like in a fairy tale, Mrs. Holder told Lucy. That pink glow on the fridge. Are you thinking that the fridge could have a connection to... Exactly. I really could... Do you think Nick knows about it though, Lucy? Pandora? The fabled other world? You know about Pandora? I've heard legends and the hushed talks amongst the keepers of Aideen. I hadn't fully believed them it could be true until now. Could my refrigerator be connected to Pandora. If it aids the keepers of Aideen in any way, then let it be yours. This is so much more than my hunger. Thank you, Nick. You've helped us. <gasps> it's Pandora's hope. That makes sense. Alright, we guess throw me an apple. I'm happy now. Alright. This is cool. Yes, uterus and I will stand together and channel our respective magic. Any final thoughts and questions before we proceed, Lucy? Yeah, how? Um, I have a bad feeling about this. But of course I'd be worried if you didn't. Now chin up, channel loose feelings into magic. <laughs> okay, this is H. Okay. Hey, they're gone. The portal appeared out of nowhere and took Lisa and Mrs. Holdsworth. <laughs> that is something you dare help us. I was not told for the count of such unforeseen circumstances. My little doves.
Nineteenth time is the charm. Holy moly. You did it, Lucy. You closed the portal. Lisa, Mrs. H, are you both okay? We came to get you out of here. Frip! Oh my gosh, Frip! It's been a while, buddy. Rip, you fuzzy little blue cosmic squirrel. We've been worried sick about you. Come here, give me a big hug.